Hello everybody, how's it going today? Uh, welcome to the seventh and last Simpsons house tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna make two bushes right here. Uh, another bush here on the corner. Uh, maybe one or two trees in the back. The fence. And maybe a wall on this side. Uh, so let's begin. And by the way, this is the last tutorial in the Simpsons house. I'm gonna get rid of this grass because it's uh, pretty heavy on my video card. So I'm going here into particles and I'm just gonna get rid of it. So let's go into edit mode with tab and select this uh, face uh, somewhere in here. And uh, let's press shift S and cursor selected. Let's go back into the object mode and then shift N. Let's add a icosphere. And let's bring it about halfway up. And let's scale it with this. Okay, let's um, let's scale it on the X. It'll just randomly make a shape. Um, then let's scale it on the um, on the Z a little bit. Now let's duplicate it with Shift D. Okay, let's bring this one a bit out. And um, let's just scale this one so it's smaller than the previous one. And let's rotate it on Z or Z. And uh, I'm going to scale it on Y, SY. And scale it on X, make it, make it bigger a little bit. Maybe SY again. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna rotate it just to Randomize it a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna make another one out of this one with shift D And bring it up And then scale it And let's rotate it, rotate it on Z Maybe make it a little bigger Okay, so let's select all three of them and join them with control J Let's add a color to them, so we'll see how it looks like. I'm gonna make it darker than the rest of the grass. Something like that, maybe. Okay, so let's go back into edit mode with tab and uh, let's subdivide it once. Let's press one. And I'm just gonna randomly select some of this uh, vertices and just bring them out or in just to randomize it I'm just pressing G to bring them out in whatever direction uh, it happens to be You can also press 2 and select lines as well and just move them around to your liking. Okay, so after you're happy with some kind of shape that looks like a bush. Um, let's duplicate it, shift D, right click and uh, let's press 1, kind of like go in front of the house and just drag it on the other side. And I'm going to rotate it on Z just to make it look different. And I'm going to scale it just a little bit so it's not perfectly uh, similar to the other one. Okay, so I think I got two bushes right there, something that look like looks like bushes. So on this side of the house, I don't have my reference anymore, but uh, there's some kind of a, a bush that kind of looks like a pine tree. I think it's uh, right here in front of the house. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into edit, uh, actually I'm going to select the uh, grass, uh, then go into edit mode, press 3 and select the face right here. And... Uh, then press shift s and uh, I'm, I'm going to bring the cursor right here then shift a and uh, 
let's add a cylinder I'm gonna scale it and bring it up with GZ all right um, let's press 3 to select faces and select this top face and scale it a little bit then E and then let's press G and grab it just a little bit uh, and then scale it again and then E again and uh, yeah let's grab it maybe a little bit and then E again and scale it I forgot to scale the previous one so let's press E again scale it G and then E again scale it and G whatever you think it looks uh, kind of like a trunk of a tree but this is actually a bush but I want to have some base to know uh, kind of the shape I'm doing so I'm just gonna leave it like that maybe scale it down a little bit more so there's a bunch of ways you can do this let's just press 2 on the keyboard and uh, let's press double A to, double A to deselect everything and then let's hold alt and I'm gonna select uh, this circle so after I select this circle I'm just gonna press ctrl B bevel it just like that and uh, let's press 3 and we'll have uh, automatically selected all the faces and then let's press uh, E and then S let's bring it out um, I think that's quite big so I'm gonna press S again and scale it down a little bit so let's scale it on Z SZ I'm gonna bring it down with GZ right about there because if I bring it down more uh, it's gonna intersect with the top faces alt down and select this and then scale it and then I'll hold shift and alt and hold this as well the select this uh, bottom circle as well and just bring it down and now press 3 and double tap A and let's select this edge right there all the faces that's not gonna work so I'm gonna press 1 and just go around holding, holding control Okay, so after I got all selected, I'm gonna scale them on Z. Okay, and uh, then I'll press Control Plus, and I'll bring the whole thing down to the ground. I'm gonna go into X-ray mode and see if I can select the, these faces on the bottom double tap A right there I'm gonna just kind of randomize it a little bit let me turn the proportional editing on and I'm gonna bring it bring it down actually the circle is way too big select this line and just bring it down a couple of places okay let's do the next one double tap A press 2 and let's select this uh, circle right here and let's, let's bevel it with control B okay press 3 and then E and then S Okay, let's bring this down. Let's scale it again. I'm gonna press two and then hold all down and select this circle. I'm gonna scale it just like that. And then I'm gonna double tap A and select this on the bottom with Alt and click and then scale this. Just 
just like that and then press 2 and I'm just gonna drag uh, just like I did before with G I'm gonna do the same thing uh, for the next two circles So I'm gonna select this object and uh, I'm gonna assign, I'm gonna create a new color and assign to uh, this object, this new color. I'm gonna name it uh, Bush 1 or Bush 3 and just assign it. Something like that. I think that's uh, more appropriate. Okay, so now that we have this uh, kind of pine tree looking bush, let's let's do a let's make a tree behind the house. So I'm gonna bring the cursor right here. Go to edit mode and select one of these uh, uh, polygons, and uh, let's bring the cursor right here. So once I have the cursor down here, I'm gonna bring a curve. A path it's laying down flat I'm gonna rotate it on Y R Y 90 and bring it up a little bit it's going to edit mode so we can see it better Let me select this top three and grab them I'm just gonna extrude it now with E and that's all I need then I'll go down here in uh, geometry and I am going to increase the bevel depth to something like that And then uh, I'm gonna press tab go into object mode and I'm just gonna convert it to a mesh you can uh, shade it flat or smooth. I'm going to leave it smooth. Then go back into edit mode and press 2 and uh, select all these uh, lines on top. And basically, I'm just going to face it. And with this face selected, press 3. And let's turn the uh, proportion editing is on. Um, I'm gonna go back a little bit and scale it. Let me see, and make that circle as big as possible all the way down. Something like that. Okay, I'm not gonna do any branches. I'll do one branch just to see 
how I do it. I mean, there are a thousand different ways you can do it, but uh, this is the way I do it. Uh, shift A, I go into a Q blocker. Uh, I'm gonna add a cylinder right there. I'm gonna hold shift down. Extrude it. Okay. Uh, let's add another one right here. Let's rotate this. I'm gra grabbing that with G. Let's go into edit mode. I'm gonna extrude this. And then uh, G. Let me take the proportional editing off. Okay, I'm gonna turn the proportion editing on again and scale it. Same with this one, you can uh, do the same thing. Okay, if you don't like how it looks, you can rotate it or whatever. Uh, or you can even duplicate it with Shift D. And then scale it. And then rotate it. And grab it and place it in a, as another branch. And do that a few times. Okay, this is just an example how I personally do it. I mean, you can do it in different ways. Uh, then you can just select all of them and uh, join them. And what I'll do, I'll, I'm just gonna bring it up, go into edit mode, select this face, and I'm gonna scale it a little bit, just like that. Maybe something like that. Bring it back. Yeah, I guess uh, it's a uh, time consuming, but uh, that's how you could do it so the leaves the top of the tree I'm going to select the trunk and uh, since this face is selected I'm gonna add a meter ball meter balls are just uh, these balls that interact with each other you'll see here um, so I'm gonna bring the cursor right here 
I go back into object mode and let's add a meter ball. So these meter balls, they just basically interact with each other, kind of like fusion together. And the less resolution you have here, the smoother they're going to be. So I'm just going to leave it as they are. Uh, you can scale them just like any other object. Uh, I'm going to press Shift D and if I bring another one, you see what happens. That's all they do. You can do all kind of sh shapes. And if you want to select one, you just click on this circle. You don't click inside. I mean, this, this main one is going to work, but this other one doesn't. So you have to click on, on the outside. So I'm going to delete this one now. For now, I'm just going to add a material because all the other ones are going to uh, have the same material if you add the material to the first one. So I'm going to add a, a green just like that. And uh, you can scale them on, on any uh, axis just like any other object. They have their limitations, but uh, I'm just going to add a few of them. I'm going to duplicate this one and maybe scale it a little bit down and then duplicate it again and again and scale it and then again scale it I don't know, something that looks like a tree make this one on the bottom bigger now you can go into as much as detail as you want but uh, for now I think I'll leave it to something like that okay and um, all I'll do, I'm just going to duplicate this and bring it somewhere in here. Let's uh, scale it down a little bit, bring it back here. And I'm going to add a bunch of meter balls as well on top of this. Let's go into object mode and uh, let's add this meter balls. Yeah, probably something like that. So let's select these two trunks. I'm just gonna simply join them and I'm gonna make uh, something like this type of uh, uh, brown material. Okay, so let's do, a, let's go into render mode. And that's what we got. I mean, you can refine it. You don't, mine is not perfect, but uh, I guess you can just go as far as you, you want with it. Okay, let's uh, add the fence. So I'm going to go into object mode and select this plane and select uh, one of these uh, polygons uh, and then shift S and then shift A and let's add a cube and let's scale it on X, S, X. Let's bring it out as far as uh, we can right here. I maybe bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna simply just uh, press three on the keyboard and uh, 
drag it up with this top face selector let's uh, subdivide it let's press 2 and let's select this actually we don't need this so let's just delete it X and dissolve edges and let's select this and simply just bring it up with GZ I think we might want to um, just uh, make this thinner maybe I don't know if that's necessary so let's scale it on X SX I'm just gonna leave it like that and uh, since we're in edit mode let's double press A and then L and uh, let's press P selection press tab and select this object and uh, I'm gonna make a new material and I'm gonna make it a kind of a yellowish brown and I'm gonna assign it okay so let's add an array with this uh, object selected let's uh, let's go here and uh, add an array let's take this down to zero and I'm gonna get closer so I can I can see the distance I don't want to right next to each other yeah probably that's okay 0 0.1.1 point one, so I'm, I'm just gonna put 1.05 yeah just like that now let's watch it and see how many we need I'm just gonna continue adding them Let's go up here and see if uh, we got too many. Yeah, I'm just gonna take one down. So 47 I need. You might need uh, more or less. So I'm just gonna apply it. Okay, so let's go into edit mode. Double tap A and press L on one of them and shift D and let's grab it with the gizmo let's rotate it on Z90 or Z90 Let me place it right next to the other one. separate it now with L and then P selection and let's select it in object mode okay so let's add another array this time is correct but I'm gonna put uh, 1.05 I think I had And let's add a few more. Okay, so we have the fence, uh, we have the trees. I think on this side in their yard is some kind of wall 
So that's pretty easy. Uh, let's add a cube. So let's select the plane. I'm gonna go into edit mode and just select one of these faces anywhere. And uh, I'm gonna bring the cursor right there and bring a, a cube. Actually, let me go into object mode and bring a cube. I'm gonna scale it on X. Going to edit mode and uh, let's grab this face right there. Uh, let's use GY. Bring it all the way down here. And uh, let's grab the top face, uh, GZ, and bring it up. Let's grab this face as well. Bring it just like that. I am going to give it a color. Probably something dark. Kind of like that. It's going to edit mode, select this top face and subdivide it. I am going to add quite a few of them, maybe 10 at least. I think 10 is enough. So I'm gonna press uh, double tap A and press 2 and just select some of these lines. Just trying to make it look like a random hill. Yeah, something like that, I guess. So let me select all these top faces with C, circle select, and I'm going to add a new color, make it an even darker green. And I'm going to assign it, uh, for some reason I had both of them selected.
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this and uh, I think um, I am done if I'm not mistaken. Actually, the sidewalk has some spacers. So let me do that for the final thing that I have to do. So let me go into object mode and select the plane, then press 2 and let's maybe select every third I guess line just like that I'm gonna bevel them just a little bit and then extrude them down just like that and maybe scale them oops let me take this off well, I guess I'm gonna scale them on X just like that not sure if I have a material on this yeah the concrete I gotta make that concrete darker let me see how it looks in the render view yeah something like that all right guys let's do a render let's see if I can get a good angle Let me go here into camera and deal with it. Let me go further just a little bit. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. Let's press F12. And there you go guys this is the end of the simpsons house i hope you enjoyed this tutorial there's a lot more refinement that you can do but i'm gonna leave it here and i hope you guys succeed in your journey to learn blender and uh, i only wish you the best of luck and thanks for watching subscribe uh, like or unlike and we'll talk to you in the next one take care guys bye